Hi Scrubs, I hope you're well. So we're back in horse riding teals. I'm feeling much better. Thank you guys for the really sweet messages. Um, so a couple of you guys had messaged me and told me that um, the new update was out, that the new horse clubs were there and there's some new horses. So I thought I need to go check these out. Um, I'm actually on an alt account right now. I'm not on my main Violet Rain account right now because my phone has run out of storage and I can't update the app right now on my phone. So I have ordered a new SD card for my phone. So hopefully when that's here in a few days and I can actually update um, my game on my phone. So I'm looking forward to that. But for the meantime, I thought we would go on to my alt and we would just have a quick look at the uh, update itself. And um, so at the moment, I can't show you how I'm progressing with my pets, but I will do that um, as soon as I can. Um, just as a general update, I'm getting very close now to being able to actually get north. I am slowly narrowing in. A couple of you guys had requested to see me doing a training my pets video, which I will try and do for you guys. Um, so to start off with, we're gonna look, before we look at the horse clubs, we're gonna look at the horses because there's a couple of new horses that have been added. And um, I believe they also are available in, yeah, the mystical whistle. This is one of them you'll see right here, but we're gonna quickly jump over to the horses itself. We're gonna have a closer look. So this is one of them. This is, uh, there's three in the epics and three in the fantasy that have been added. This is the frozen Frisian and I love this. It's so pretty. I love the mane on the tail. It looks like proper ice. I love the, the doppling that we have going on here in the shine. It's beautiful. Really a big fan of this horse. Um, I really, really like it. I would quite like to get it. Now, looking at the shifting Frisian, this I'm not so much a fan of. Um, I do like the mane and the tail colors, but for some reason they kind of remind me of toothpaste. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, but the body itself, I don't feel like it works with the horse as much. I feel like if the horse had either been much darker or much lighter, it might have maybe worked. But I don't feel like the colors gel. It might just be me. Maybe you guys really like it. Um, let me know, by the way, I know that this update is out for Android because I'm on Android right now, but if it's out for iOS, I don't know. So if you do know that, let me know down below. Now there's one other uh, Frisian they added, which is the Royal Frisian. I actually really like this and I'm not a big fan of yellow, but this is really pretty. I know it's sort of more onto like a gold, but I really like what they did here. I also think what was really smart is that the way they shaded this because if it had just been like bright solid yellow on the man and tail, I don't think I would have liked it, but I really actually quite like this horse too. I think it's very, very pretty the way that they've uh, done the sort of the toning of the man and tail. And uh, the hooves look really nice as well. Now, when we look at the fantasy horses, we have the shifting Pegasus here. Now, I think this actually looks better than the Epic does because of the wings. I think it looks a little bit more together in that regard. And the way that the wings change whenever you like turn is really pretty. I, I like that aspect. It does sort of see it in the Epic version, but not as well as you do with this with the wings whenever you sort of spin it and you see the colors change. So I think this is much nicer than its Epic uh, counterpart. And let's see if we can find the other one. So here's the frozen one. And I think it's so pretty. I really like this horse a lot. Um, this one I'm a big fan of, I have to say. And then we'll have a look at the Royal Pegasus. This one is also really pretty. I do like the, the fact that they've gone with gold tips on the wings, but the white coming in. Because I think that's important, the fact that there seems to be sort of more like shading with this. Um, and the way it sort of goes from one tone to the next, it, it works for me. So those are the three new epics and the three new fantasy horses that I have seen. And it says you can open a horse club uh, championship chest for a chance to win this horse. They seem to also be available in the whistles, but I don't know that for like 100% certain. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to have a look at the riding horse clubs now. So let's have a look at the horse clubs themselves. So the horse clubs here, we've got my club over here. So create your club, invite your friends and earn rewards. So right now it uh, says I have zero club invites over here. Get club token. So club tokens, by the way, VIPs can create clubs for free. So if you're a VIP, you can create them for free. If you're not, then you clearly have to buy a token, which costs 350 gems. So you need a token to create a club. The token is not consumed when your club is created. Okay. So the, you can create a club name, you can create a club description, you can also create an emblem. So you can go through here. I, I'm going to have a quick look through these. I'm going to change the colors though, because I'm not, not keen on the colors themselves. So go through here and you can change the shield. So there's quite a few different shields from what I can see. I did have a look at this um, a little bit last night. So I have actually just 
quickly sort of look through some of these. But there's quite a few different shield varieties there. And then obviously the horses themselves, there's quite a few different flag. We've got saddle, riding helmets, apples, and then there's a couple of different horses. This one reminds me of the Elysia Online logo, actually. That, that's what that reminds me of. We've got a couple of unicorns in this as well. A couple of different horse heads. So there's a, there's a good variety with the horse heads themselves. And then we have a couple of different alicorns and pegasus on regular horses here as well. And the thing that I noticed is you can actually change where it is on the actual thing itself. You can move it up and down from what I can see. Um, there are different colours available too. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like you can pick your own individual colours, but there are colours available. And then there's different coloured shields too. And you can also just do a randomised one and make it pick a random logo for you as well. And then you just click create and it will create it. So then we have the level rewards. So club levels earn club points to level up and reach new tiers. Each new rank will unlock rewards to the club and its members. So now here's how I understand this right now. If anybody's already got a club and can confirm this, let me know because right now I'm sort of guessing with this. It looks like um, at this point, if you get level three, which requires seven members, you can get, um, I think what looks to be, it looks like the island, so maybe a club island, um, but player items, you get symphony hair. So we have symphony hair at level three, club helmet at level six, um, helmet crest at seven, Level 10 gives you a tier 2 chest, Symphony shirt at level 10 as well, and then the shirt crest at level 12. So then you can also see at the side here, so we've got levels, what, what level your club is, the number of members I believe that requires, the items as a club you will receive, the player items you'll receive, and then the weekly club chest that you'll get. So if we scroll down here, oh, I'll actually have to scroll up, that's what it is. Then I think it is, let's have a look here. So tier two chest is available from level 10, where you need at least 10 members. And then if we go a little bit further, you need at least 15 members to be able to access the level three uh, chest. And then there's a horse crest down here. That looks interesting. I'm kind of curious to see that. There are more um, rewards here. So after like level 12, let's just scroll down here. So Symphony pants, equilibrium hair, equilibrium helmet, shirt, pants, horse crest, baroness hair, helmet, shirt, more pants. And then seems to be a couple more club rewards that aren't there quite yet. And uh, it seems to be the most members you can have is 30, which makes your club level 50 from what I understand. Um, now the next thing is the weekly chest. So the weekly rewards level up your club to unlock new tiers of rewards and compete in weekly events to earn the champion's chest or the bonus chest. So weekly chest. Okay, so can I see the information or not? Ah, okay, so weekly chest chances so awarded to every clan each week, every uh, or level your clan to claim better each week. So these seem to be some of the things we've got. Tickets, we've got uh, Black Pearls, we've got Gems here, and then the regular resources as well as Orbs in there too. So that seems to be what's available in the weekly chest. Um, then uh, you can view your chest if you have any. Right now I don't. That looks like the the uh, highest level chest. That looks like the tier 2. That looks like the tier 1. A chest reset every week. So then we have the champion's chest. So chance to win a random reward. So first place gets 2. Awarded to the top 100 clubs on the leaderboard every week. Oh wow, look at the pets! It looks like there's new pets in there. Like flying pets. And there's like loads of new tack in there as well. Can I click on these to actually see them individually? I don't think I can. Oh wait, I can. Okay, so awarded to the top 100 clubs. Okay, so there's like a 0 0.5 chance of getting this. Okay, so there's loads of different things in there. The chances for these seem pretty low though. That's a little bit disappointing, but I guess I don't know how many. I suppose you're getting two, you have a chance you might get it. There's a 2.1% chance on the Apex the looks of it. So there seems to be higher chances on some of the other items. Instead, like these 5%, for example, so you can see in there. Um and then the bonus chest. Okay, so First place gets two of these as well. And 
when four random rewards. Okay, so you get four rewards in this one. This one maybe only gives one, possibly. Okay, so rewarded to the top ten clubs in every event every every week. Okay, so there's quite a few different items in here. Some I don't think I've seen before. Some of them I'm not sure what they are actually. Um, there's different blankets in there and things like that as well. And there's gems in there too. How many does this go to? It warrants the top 100 clubs every week. Hmm. How come this only goes to 10? Kind of confused. That's confused me a tad, <laughs> to be honest. Because it looks like the rare items in this one than this one, but more people get this than get this one. I am confused. <laughs> Well, it doesn't matter too much, right? Let's look at the earn points. So weekly club points. So earn club points uh, by playing every day, taking part in challenges, completing quests, and more points will help you level up your club and earn rewards. So for online play, every day you'll play and earn uh, points for your club. Okay, so daily login, 25% uh, clan online once per week. So if your clan is active, okay, you're going to get like 40 points. If you just log in, it's going to be 10. 50% of clan online once per week, then at least 50. 75% um, of clan online once per week, then you get 60. Okay, and then we have gems. So purchase gems from the store to earn points. So this is a little bit pay to win in that regard. Okay, points per gem, you get five per gem. Um, that kind of disappoints me slightly, but I guess it probably was going to be there for, for um, I suppose, I guess the point of business. Um, but there are other ways, there's plenty of other ways to earn them here, so I don't think it's a massive thing. I guess if you are buying jams anyway, I guess it helps your club, so it's not really, I guess it's not really a big problem. Uh, quests here, complete quests and train your pets and level up for points, so level up in the main story quest. I've already done that, so I can't even earn any points doing that, that unless it adds the points to you, maybe because I'm already level 40. It would automatically add them. I hope that it does that because otherwise it would dis be disappointing because I'm already level 40. Um, complete a daily quest. Okay. Complete a story quest. Gives you 20. Successfully complete a pet quest. Okay. And successfully finish a pet training. Okay. And then successfully finish a social quest. So varying different points for that. Uh, dressage. Complete and dressage. And your horse shows for points. So replay an event and earn an existing star. You get five. Earn a new star. 30, and then in the dressage, 20, and Horse Show Academy, 10. Okay. So, that actually seems to apply to the show jumping the dressage and Skyrider, I think. And then racing. Okay, there's two times points on racing right now. So, compete in cross-country and player races for points. Okay, so if you get first place, you get, wow, a thousand point size crazy that's so many yeah this is like that's so many wow okay second place overall it's up 153rd place top 10 overall top 100 top fifth or sorry 500 top thousand uh cross country each race you participate in you get 10 multiplayer races first place you get 50. oh you get less for these that's kind of sad um because i'm not as good as the cross country i'm better at the multiplayer races to be honest um, all others, you get 10 for those awarded once per week. I want to check something. Okay, those aren't awarded once per week, so those seem to stack. So do those. Taming. Okay, so tame horses for points and rare horses equal more points. So if you catch a fantasy horse, it gives you 160. So that's kind of, um, if you're somebody that like catches a lot of horses for gold, that's actually pretty good. I do that quite a bit, so that's kind of nice. I like that. Uh, mine for points, rare resources equal more points. I hardly mine anymore. Well, I do still mine, but I hardly mine compared to what I used to mine uh, quite a lot. So for wood, iron, and cotton, you get one point, uh, two for opal and stone, and then three for amber. So that's all of the different uh, club point ways to earn points. And then your weekly club points resets in three days. Okay, so that's the weekly ones. Club total level join a clan. So right now it's not showing anything because I haven't actually joined any. Uh, then we have the leaderboard, so we can see the leaderboard, which clubs are open and closed, how many points they have. You can search for a club. 
So this is the total leaderboard. Then you can see the online play leaderboard, who's the most active. You can see um, the quest one as well. You can see the competitions, the racing, the captures, and then the mining as well. And then last of all is the admin, which I can't go into because obviously I don't have a club right now. So that's a look at the clubs and the uh, new horses as well. Let me know uh, down in the comments below if uh, you have done any of this yet, what you think of it, are you excited, is there any of the horses that you're hoping to get or anything like that. But anyway, scrubs, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you've had a lovely day. Bye-bye.